All right, that's it. I got to make a video about this and talk about this. This website right here, w WCOfun.net. What in the name of hell even is this? You've got Rick and Morty here. You've got Dora the Explorer. You've got... Let me see here. Uh, yeah, I've been doing some poking around on this site to find all this out. You've got the Fairly Odd Parents here. You've got... Every single Sonic cartoon that's ever been released. And you've got pretty much every Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, Paramount, whatever animated show and movie that was ever made. Like, seriously, if I look in here, yeah, you've got the Yogi Bear movie. The live action Yogi Bear movie by Warner Brothers. That you are putting all these webs, all these cartoons, all these movies, all this stuff on here. Yeah, you pretty much got everything related to My Little Pony around here. You can definitely see that. And even worse, if I try to bring up one of the one of the movies here. Let's just say the 2017 movie. You have to pay premium to watch it. And I'm pretty sure Hasbro is not getting any of those royalties. As a matter of fact, I'm not even sure if Cartoon Network, the owners of Ben 10, are getting any royalties from the animated films like related to that IP that you've got on here. Like this one, Destroy All Aliens. Nope. Premium. They're probably not getting any any of the royalties from that. I wasn't going to make a big deal out of this originally because, hey, you know what? This is kind of neat considering, you know, everything's been divided up into like 15 million different online services now. It's kind of hard to find what you want to watch these days. But charging people to watch animated films based on their favorite IPs and not giving any of the royalties to the studios and companies that actually own these properties. And this website's still pretty, like, <laughs> under the radar, so I'm pretty sure most of these companies don't even know these guys exist or that they're doing this. You know, I phone called all these companies, uh, I called Sega about the Sonic uh, cartoons. I called Warner Brothers. I called Paramount. You know the owners of the owners of Nickelodeon. You know SpongeBob SquarePants and all that. I contacted Warner Brothers. I think I said that one already. I contacted Turner, the guys who own uh, the Cartoon Network. None of them. None of them have said anything about even knowing about this service online and that they're doing this. So. Yeah, pretty sure you guys are breaking the law here. Like, and not just once, but like, seriously, guys, go in the comment section. Tell me how many violations of piracy laws these guys are possibly facing. Like, I'm, I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure it's somewhat high. And again, I wasn't going to raise a big, a big ruckus about this at first, because this seemed like a nice service, but as of right now, no. You guys just lost my faith and lost my trust, and now you're doing this? Like, seriously, watching shows online for free, if you ask me, I think it's okay as long as you're not charging money for it. And if you are going to charge money for it, at least give some of that revenue to the company who actually made the damn thing. What you guys are doing here, this is stealing. Straight up stealing. Putting this on the internet, charging money to see it, and not giving any of that to the company who owns the IP. What the hell? This is illegal. Now, normally, we at uh, Bulldozer Studios usually don't raise a big ruckus over a website that's pirating anime and, you know animated uh, 
the TV shows and the like like this. Unless it gets results, which it will.